I chose the topic because I have been working on um, very concrete themes in the past years, concrete and very related to reality. And for this masterclass, I wanted to do something a little bit different and more challenging, something that I didn't usually do and something that I didn't have a um, um, ready-made language. So my irresistible project is called Last Till the Roots. It tells a um, story of one single woman and her sexual orientation. Her name is Laura, and these photos are like a visual diary interpreted by me. Um, photos are um, a mix of concrete acts and, and imagination. For me, what was interesting that Laura didn't uh, define herself through any certain type of sexuality. So Laura is my best friend. Um, I chose her because of our past, which is very long and intense, and I had a clear image of, of her imagination. The visual diary is not only about her thoughts and, and uh, her sexuality, but also it combines my own desires and my own um, conception of, of nature and, and sexuality. For me, as a, as a Finnish, as a Laplander, I'm from Lapland, the nature is a big part of my life. Laura as well is from Lapland, not from the same city, but close by. And we share a lot of similar uh, feelings and, and uh, desires. For me, it was a journey to really use all my senses. Very concrete from the moment. But then at the same time, many of the pictures are dreams. They are not actual happenings. They are not ac actual acts. And in this way, the process was ongoing all the time because it was not only those moments where I was taking the photographs, but it was all the moments where I didn't have my camera, where I was only imagining and dreaming and, um, and then later on visualizing this dream into a photograph. I started photography and photojournalism when I was 19 years old. It stemmed from a desire to really try the, the profession in practice. I went to India and I worked as a journalist and an, as a photographer for one month there. And I came back to Finland and I received a very positive uh, feedback from my work through articles and exhibition. And that feeling in that early age really encouraged me to continue. What has also motivated me during these years has been the people that I have photographed. I have seen incredible amount of strength and uh, love and compassion and hope. For me, it's the essence of, of photography to, show, to really show the human side of the stories that can be violent and um, harsh and rough because it's, it's not so black and white.